Welcome to episode 3 in how to create a walk cycle using PowerPoint. As you can see in our last video, we were creating the deck of frames for our animation and putting them together to make um, a basic animation. If you don't have seen this already, then uh, I'll leave a link so you can uh, backtrack and see what we got up to. I'm picking up where we left off, but I'm adding one extra slide or frame to our animation and that is uh, the walk cycle just standing still and I'm going to add that frame to the top and to the bottom of our deck of frames and that will mean that whenever the animation stops it will look like he's just standing. Now I'm saving the animation as a video so as an mp4 and what I'm going to do now is import that uh, walk cycle video into my slide and what you need to do next is crop it by uh, clicking on the format tool, crop, and then drag in the sides. And what you want is the whole of the white square background. Um, otherwise, the animation won't quite fit inside the video. Now, as you can see, you can resize and uh, move it down to wherever you like on the slide. And now it's time to animate it. So I'm gonna select with previous, I want it to play. Uh, I'm also going to ask for the animation to move forwards at the same time. So I'm going to select move right, um, which is um, appeared below in the animation pane and I'm selecting with previous. As you can see already, there are advantages to pre-animating your walk cycle and importing it as a video. The method allows you to crop, trim, edit, resize, flip, rotate and control when the video starts and stops. It does have its disadvantages though. As you'll see later, anything behind the video will not be visible. And if you change the colour of the background, then the video will not blend in, unless you make a new video with the same background colour. Now I'm just completing the animation. What I want to show you is that when the video stops, the animation stands still. So what I'm doing is adding a play, a move forwards and a stop and it's all going to be correlated. So let's have a go to see if my animation works so far. Click play preview and it doesn't look very nice. It looks like he's walking on an icy floor uh, and that's caused by the animation automatically deciding that it wants a smooth start and a smooth end and I always forget to get rid of that. Now press play. That seems a little bit better, but it just needs a few small adjustments. So I'm just moving the duration of the movement pattern uh, to coincide with the start and stop. Press play again. This looks quite good. So the if you want your animation to move forwards when it walks, then that's how to do it. But what about if you want the background to move, but you don't want the animation of the video to, uh, to move forwards like so? Uh, if you're wondering what I've got there, then this is a Wallace and Gromit tribute. So I've created a little penguin inside my legs. Um, as you can see, colouring the background is causing problems for the video. And uh, this is one of the limitations of this method of uh, creating a walk cycle, uh, which I'll try and get around in future. What, you're, what I'm doing here is creating a gradient where the bot bottom of it is white and the top of it is blue so the video does blend in. In my future videos I will try and get around the problem of the background not blending in with the walk cycle. Um, if you are interested in this then please click through to see my next video. Comment below if you have any questions with what I've done before. If you think I've gone through it too quickly then let me know and if this has helped you in any way then please comment and let me know. Thanks very much and hopefully see you in my next video. Bye bye.